My name is Nina Mohammed, and I am the manager of our business development team. So I support our business development representatives that are focused in higher education and kindergarten to grade 12. So my team is the first point of contact when someone wants to learn more about D2L. And basically what we're doing is, it's not a sales pitch, it really is an organic conversation to learn about the different things that they're doing uh, to see if there's an opportunity to partner with them. My name is Zach Taylor. I work as a courseware developer here at D2L. Uh, we develop engaging courses for colleges and universities in the area, as well as a number of other corporate clients. Uh, they send us their content and we make something engaging and interesting for the learner. But when you walk in, immediately you'll notice how it doesn't feel like a normal office. You know, there's no, there's no walls, there's no barriers, there's no stuffy air. It's, here at D2L, it's colorful. The walls themselves are inviting. They're covered in photos of us and our team, and it's, a, it's an environment that I really am happy that I can thrive in. My name is Carmen Zanier, and I'm a development manager at D2L. So I manage the engineering teams, one of the engineering teams. I'm responsible for the technical decision making that occurs as we deliver our product. What I like most about my job, I was thinking about this, and the exciting moment is when you see your team building on each other's ideas and reaching productive delivery of some software and getting some things over the line and seeing it in market. And that moment where the team can really come together in a conversation to get, get those things over the line, that's the moment I love. My name is Ryan. Um, my position here is a software engineer at D2L. You know, I come in in the morning, we have our morning stand-up meeting where we kind of just catch up with each other. After that, for the most part, I'm one of those people that just kind of puts on headphones and dives into it. I'm more of an independent coder myself, so I tend to, you know, isolate myself a little bit, and that way I can really focus and get things done, and that's what I like to do. Some of the more rewarding parts of what I do, the parts that I really enjoy, is actually just thinking about the fact that what I'm doing is being used by millions of people. A lot of people can make that claim, but I like to describe what I do as it gives me the warm fuzzies. So when I go home at the end of the day, I know that I've helped people learn. 